Okay, now on to the men. We have the top of the list. Now, I'm going to mention him, even though he's never mentioned me in any of his shout-out videos, and I keep bugging him about that. Um, Jack Bauer, Power Hour. This here also is a clip from one of my favorite videos of his, specifically one that he did about procrastination. It was just hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Um, once again, a guy who just seems to have a lot of fun with life. And uh, he's also quite creative with videos. He's currently studying to be uh, something to do with business. Anyway, I can't remember exactly what the specifics are. But I think he should just do videos. Like, seriously, uh, Jack? <laughs> well, Jack Bauer Power Hour goes by a few names. It goes by Jack Bauer Power Hour, goes by Double D, and Dave. So, Dave, if you're watching, if the business career doesn't work out, consider getting your own show, man, because you are funny as hell. Seriously. Um, and for God's sake, mention me in one of your shout-out videos, will you? <laughs> I keep bugging him about that in the comments, because, um, it, because we comment on each other's videos fairly often. Like, he, he watches, I think he's watched every one of my videos, or pretty darn close, anyway. And I've watched pretty darn close to all of his, too, and I always leave comments. He always leaves me comments for chit-chatting all the time. But he does a shout-out video, and does he mention his old buddy, Sean? No! <laughs> Apparently I just suck. It's all been a sham this whole time. <sighs> anyway, on with the list. Next we have Mike, also known as PreacherMan777. Now, in case you were wondering, Mike, yes, I do know where you get the 777 from. Now, those of you who don't know... You will, of course, know that the number of the beast, or the devil, is 666. That's pretty common knowledge. But what isn't such common knowledge, I think, unless you're in the Bible scene, as it were, is uh, that 777 is the number of God. So, I guess the idea being that God will always be one step above the devil. <laughs> pretty cool. So, I like that little, uh, I guess you could almost say Easter egg in your name for the sharp-eyed viewers. And uh, Mike has also done, just recently picked up the camera and started doing uh, video blogs of his own. Always really interesting to listen to. He has a lot of, uh, a lot of cool things to say. Um, I particularly enjoy just his observations on people's behavior and things like that, and how people treat other people and stuff like that. You also see his, uh, his daughters, da yeah, daughters up here. I was thinking daughter or daughters. I couldn't remember for a second there. Brain fart. Anyway. You'll see his kids <laughs> appear in a number of his videos as well, and they're all absolutely adorable, just little angels. So, And it's pretty obvious he's pretty proud of them, too, and rightly so. Um, I particularly mention Mike because he was actually one of the first people to ever comment on my videos. And uh, I'd like to think one of the people I sort of helped to inspire to pick up the camera and start doing videos of his own. So Mike, keep up the good work. Always happy to hear from you. Always enjoy your comments and constructive criticisms and whatnot. And I certainly enjoy your videos. Next we have Petrus04. Now, Petrus, I, I don't actually know his real name. It may be Petrus. And I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Petrus I give special mention to because he was actually the one and only person um, well, Actually, yeah, well, the, the one and only person to do an actual video response to one of my videos. A while back, uh, one of my earlier video blogs um, was a rant about the time limit uh, that had recently been imposed for videos. Where, when uh, you, most of you who've been here for a few months probably remember when YouTube suddenly decided that you couldn't have videos longer than 10 minutes, and then it was about another month later and they introduced the director program where if you have a legitimate reason to need a longer running time, you can sign up for it and you can go. Like, I'm sure this shout-out video has already gone on longer than 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so anyway, Petrus did a response. And Petrus, if you're watching, I do apologize. I actually did take notes of your response and meant to... Um, do a video response in response to your video response to my rant. <laughs> but I, I apologize, I just got too busy doing other things and I just never got around to it. But I did watch it and, you know, I may slip some comments about it into a future video blog. Or, you know, if you just want to start fresh and do some stuff, whatever. Um, 
Yeah, unfortunately, Petrus doesn't seem to have been around much lately. Uh, he did a few uh, video blogs of his own and looked to be gearing up to do some, some cool stuff with them and then just kind of disappeared for a while. Um, I know he's still around. I see him log in from time to time, but uh, he hasn't done a new video for a while. However, he does do a just a regular blog, like just a, a typewritten blog, which I notice he does uh, update fairly often and uh, tends to go into a lot more detail. But I really enjoyed his uh, videos, and Petrus, if you're out there, I really hope uh, you'll do some more because I thought uh, you had a lot of interesting things to say and uh, I'd love to hear more. So hope you're out there and hope you do some more. Then we've got Mad V, who sadly, apparently, is no longer doing videos. I don't need to tell you who Mad V is, but in case I do, it's basically a guy who wears a V for Vendetta mask and does magic tricks and illusions and stuff like that. And basically just plays with the camera, plays with the special effects, and has a lot of fun with it. Uh, he gained quite a huge fan following while he was on YouTube, and um, apparently the last I heard was he got a TV deal. So it'll be interesting to see what happens to that. So. Big props to you, Mad V. Like, congratulations. Seriously, that's that's awesome. Like, I've I've very much enjoyed your videos pretty much since day one. Um, I think it was the first one that was featured on the front page, the maddest skills yet. It was the one with the with the floating card, the first floating card trick you did, which I thought was really cool. And then I just went back and watched everything you'd done and kept up to date from that point on. So sorry to see you won't be uh, won't be on YouTube anymore. Uh, I hope you'll leave your old stuff up at least so, uh, you know, we can continue to enjoy them. Uh, but definitely, congratulations on the TV deal. I hope that, uh, hope that really works out for you because you do have some mad skills, dude. Not the least of which is your, uh, just your screen presence. I think you, you carry yourself really well in front of a camera. And, uh, yeah. So for those of you who haven't checked out Mad V's videos, go check them out while they're still there. Because his stuff is really cool and uh, a lot of fun. Um, and next we've got, I promise we're getting close to the end here. Next we've got FDTV. And this clip here, you can see actually FD himself. I apologize, I don't know his real name, but I think it's very intentionally kept quiet because he's focusing mostly on the, the sort of screen persona. Um, but FDTV is super cool. Basically it's a group of guys in uh, New York, I believe. Um, that do a series of, uh, they do regular short comedy videos. Um, but kind of interesting because the subject matter isn't always the typical stuff you'd see. It's sort of done with a more uh, street sensibility, I guess you could almost call it. You know what I mean? Well, if you watch a few of his videos, you see what I mean. It's, think if Spike Lee did comedy videos. That's kind of what, the, kind of how I classify them. But they do a lot of really funny stuff, really cool stuff, and just getting better all the time. Um, I'm actually getting one of their DVDs because, uh, you know, I definitely support what they're doing and wish them all the best. I think it's a good group. And uh, FD is their ringleader and uh, does basically all the camera work, editing, and uh, I guess the, the chief developer for the projects and stuff like that. And uh, really awesome stuff. So check out FDTV if you like uh, if you like comedy with a little bit of raw edge to it. Because uh, I think uh, I think they're definitely going to go somewhere. They're definitely going to go places. Then last two, certainly not the least two, we have Toon Man 1984, who is my brother Cass. Hi, Cass. <laughs> Cass doesn't actually have any videos up right now because, well, he's a lazy asshole and I have to get his ass on that. Plus, he doesn't have a camera, so... But uh, the clip you're watching, or that you just saw there, is actually from Buddies, which is a short movie that Cass and I did uh, a month or, two, or a couple months ago. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. So, anyway, cool guy. Just wanted to give him props. Love my bro. Um, and then finally, last but most definitely not least, we have Ben... And this, of course, is a clip from his uh, video blog. Ben, of course, is guy number two from Two Guys in an Effects Box. Excuse me, I'm guy number one. Uh, and we are the two guys. Oh, sorry. I'm just collapsing into a heap of gelatin here. Um, yeah, so Ben, very cool. Check out his blog. 
and uh, you'll be seeing more of him in my videos and more of me in his videos and more of us in our videos. Okay, so this has been almost 20 minutes of gushing about how wonderful YouTube people are. And you are wonderful. So I hope I didn't put you all to sleep. Hope I, uh, you know, hope I got everybody who was hoping they got gotten. <laughs> Alright, so I'm out of here. I will see you later. Oh, quick message to Decadent7. I promised you a pronunciation guide to my name. Well, I just wanted you to know that that is in the works, and you will see it very shortly. Until then, I'm going to leave it a mystery. Although, you can hear me pronounce my name in some of my earlier videos. Hmm. But I won't tell you which ones. I'll just let you find them for yourself. Or you can just wait for the guide and have it all told to you there. And that goes for anybody else who's wondering how to pronounce my name. Yes. My name is pronounced... <laughs>